Welcome to Bear Brothers. This has been a long time coming. Come on in here, Preston. Me and Preston used to film a lot of content, a lot of videos together. My baby brother of three years younger. Yep. We built the brand on YouTube and then building BPN got absolutely crazy. Our workloads increased and we haven't had a day like this in a long time. So today, this is a dedicated day to brotherhood. We're about to go for a run, then we're going for a lift, and then we're gonna get some barbecue where it all started, Belton, Texas. And then we're going to shoot some guns at Weber's. So enjoy the day, enjoy the journey. Here we go. Let's do it. So this is just tradition right here. Every, every Saturday I usually run the Austin uh, Lady Bird Lake loop 10 miles and I, I have nowhere to put my key and I'm not gonna hold it so you tie it right on your shoe and it never comes off, double knot. There you go. <laughs> now I did tell you that we're not we're not in downtown Austin right now. We're at our house, so you can you <laughs> can leave right. you can leave the key here. I feel better when I do it. Preston just had a a marathon. What three weeks ago? Yeah. What was your time? Four oh two. PR. Yeah. So it's like a nine fifteen. Yeah. So Preston ran Oklahoma City Marathon. About three weeks ago, 402, which was a PR for him. What was your first marathon ever? It was over five it's hours. Like five right? hours. So it was a long time. I mean, this, it, this wasn't an easy course. Shaving an hour off is is impressive. I was on pace to do a three, like 52, and the last mile took me 16 minutes. What happened? The full body cramps. The full body cramps. So I had get to like, Sit down for like five minutes because I couldn't move my body. <laughs> How'd you come back from that? Sheer willpower. What's your race nutrition strategy? Wake up, cold shower, get the body going a little bit, heart rate going. Plus, I get so hot when I'm running that I usually sweat so bad in the beginning that I want my body cooler. <laughs> and then. You tell me that cold shower keeps you cold the whole race. <laughs> Cooler than the, usually the first mile I'm dying. Sweat. Sweat dripping down my plums. I like uh, hot, hot. Obviously G1M. Nothing too crazy. Bagels. But you know, just a few bagels. Start the morning off with four bagels. We're going to do 2.5 miles out. Turn around. So, five miles total today. Oh, gosh, dang. Jordy, five miles total for the day. Yeah, dude, how's your fob? It's good. I still have the manual key. Old school. Yep, I like it. Live your life, live right your live, live right your life, pump, 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 pump it up. Looking like a young Greg Plitt. 211. Gotta get down. 211. 205, I gotta You're get. You're looking lean, baby. Really? Yeah. We got a little bit more than a mile left. 3.7 right now. Surrounded by beautiful high fence, Texas ranch land. It's the dream, baby. Five miles, 8.43 pace. I'll take it. Pretty good. Feel good. I usually run in the afternoon in the heat, so it's like 90 something degrees, so it felt a lot cooler this morning. The route was really nice. I love the route. It was uh, a lot of like back roads and everything. So, and a lot of it in the neighborhood was flat too, so it was enjoyable for sure. What'd you say your heart rate was on that? 162 average. I saw it got up to 180. My heart rate does get up pretty high. I always take the heart rate on a watch with a grain of salt. Yeah. It, it can be extremely inaccurate. So I'll use heart rate on a watch as a guide, but unless you're wearing a chest, like a chest strap heart rate monitor, yeah, I never really take it for pure accuracy. For an easy run, you want to keep your heart rate below. Um, hey. 
Ryder. Ryder. Go inside. Does he listen? No. <laughs> My dogs don't listen. Uh, highest your heart rate you get like on an easy run, you want to keep it below your, your max aerobic heart rate. So using MAF 180 formula. So 180 minus age, that's your, like, your max aerobic heart rate. But on like some of these more harder intense runs, I really don't worry about heart rate. I just get I, I just go based off of pace and feel. Yeah. Nice. I run four days a week now. Uh, only run, only lift three days a week. This is the least amount of days I've ever list, lifted per week, and I feel at my strongest. So I think the less days during the week that I lift, the more I look forward to those workouts and uh, the more intense they are. So I do a lot more running now. So we'll, we'll split for breakfast. We'll link back up around 9 a.m. and we'll go hit House of Gains for a uh, shoulders, arms, and press wants to do some chest. So a full push workout today. Let's do it. <laughs> so we are launching a limited edition flavor of flight and endo pump on June 5th. This is prickly pear. It is absolutely Delicious. Probably my favorite flavor of flight and endo pump we've ever done. And as you can see, A Rod did a really good job with the limited edition packaging. Different fonts, different colors, different look and feel. So, in preparation to go knock out a push workout, Preston and I are both going to do one scoop of prickly pear flight and endo pump. Preston went with a bold move of, of about maybe four ounces of water. <laughs> I just have to take it to the face, take it to the dome, and then just drink water after. Doesn't want to hydrate too much. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast post run? Uh, Golden Grahams and BPN Vanilla Way. Two scoops BPN Vanilla Way and my Golden Grahams. <laughs> I honestly thought you were about to say Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Golden Corral chocolate fountain with a side salad. <laughs> that Golden Corral is one of the. I used to eat anything, but Golden Corral was one of the one places where it was like. I don't remember eating anything good from there. Our family growing up, you know, like it'd be my grandparents, my parents, us, uncles, cousins. Like Golden Corral is one of the spots that we go to and look, look forward to. I liked Hosses. People from the Northeast will know Hosses. That was like an old salad bar. Here we are. Flight, endo pump, prickly pear, pre workout cocktail. About to go to the hog. Which is also known as House of Gains. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Refreshing. At first, it's prickly, then it's parry. Now, before we dive any deeper into this video, I want to let you know it is sponsored by Helix, who makes premium mattresses customized to fit your unique needs and ship conveniently right to your door. And right now, their Memorial Day sale is live until June 4th. And you can get 25% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Now, we have a Helix mattress in every bed of our house, and we have for the last couple years. This right here, Helix mattress. This bed, Helix mattress. In our master bedroom, yes, you guessed it, Helix Midnight Lux mattress. Now, Helix makes it really easy to find a mattress to fit your unique and specific needs, and this is through their quiz that's offered on their website. And they're gonna ask you a series of questions, like, do you sleep by yourself? Do you sleep with someone else? Do you sleep on your side, your back, your stomach? Do you like a soft, medium, or firm mattress? Do you have pain while you sleep? And based off of these questions that you answer and the feedback you provide, it is going to recommend the best mattress for you. And us personally, after taking the quiz, it recommended the Helix Midnight Lux, and we have that mattress on every bed in our house. So after you take the quiz and you find the right mattress for you, it's going to ship conveniently right to your door, and it's gonna arrive in this box. And once you open the box and let the mattress expand, you can then move that mattress to whatever bed in the house that you need. Now, Helix offers a 100-night sleep trial to ensure you love your mattress and also a 10-year warranty on the mattress. They also offer flexible payment programs and financing options if you need that. So if you are ready to upgrade your mattress and take advantage of this Memorial Day sale that is live until June 4th, go to helixsleep.com. 
dot com slash Nick Bear to get 25% off plus two free pillows. Now back to the video. Ready? So we're kicking off this workout with a, a flat press hammer strength machine. These old hammer strength machines are, are the best. And I have no shame in saying that my little brother is stronger than me right now. He's actually always been stronger than me. So I've always done a few less reps and uh, not as much weight as him. He's a strong dude. But uh, I'm going to try to keep up with them during this workout. I usually can't do as much weight on five. I'm gonna have to lighten it up. I don't do as much weight on five. I gotta give a huge shout out to one of our graphic designers, Ethan Davis. Ethan does a lot of thrifting, so he'll go to like Goodwill and uh, thrift shops and find these badass pieces, customize them sometimes, cut the sleeves off, and then at certain BPN events, we'll uh, we'll bring some and hand them out, and we'll brand them with like a BPN logo. So like these were some shirts that we handed out at a previous event, very limited edition. We had like 10, first 10 people who show up get them. Ethan hooked this one up. Love this shirt. Pump's good. Pump's real good. I would argue that one of the best pumps you can get is a shoulder trap pump. And I know I'm about to just refill my muscles with pure brisket and sausage and ribs after this, which I'm so excited about. Like I haven't had Texas barbecue in probably, man, it's probably been a year and a half. So I'm really excited. The only time I get excited to go out to eat now is for barbecue. It's the meat. It's the meat. We just get it's excited about a lot of red meat right now.
That's it for me. Nothing's left. When people train with, with me a lot of times and Preston, they comment that we, we move very quickly through the workout. And we do, like we don't take long rest periods. I like to move throughout my workout. And those last couple sets of every workout, there's nothing left. I leave the gym knowing I got a really good training session in. That's it, how are we feeling? Feel good, feel pumped. Best uh, push workout I've had in a while. Miller's baby back ribs. About to get the big one. The you, old big one. How do you spell that? Big un. You've been talking about Miller's barbecue consistently for the last five plus years. And have you had it more than once? I've had it twice. I had that sandwich and it was incredible. Brisket, sausage, pulled pork, turkey, chicken salad. Buttery, crispy, flaky crust. Bake on the buttery fl crust. Flaky. I thought I said flaky. <laughs> <laughs> Bake on the buttery uh, crispy crust. Damn. Cool? Damn. Damn. <laughs> We'll stop by the house in Temple. It was me, Preston, and Joe living in that house for a period of time. We were packing orders out of there. That was one of the most fun times of my entire life. Yeah, when I moved out by myself, that was probably the best time of my life. <laughs> Remember from there, it was downhill. Remember when we used to like, just drive rounds and the rap music? Yeah. Do you even know who Kevin Durant is? No. That's Clem Mizkeskas. <laughs> what? That's a franchise place. You wanna stay at that hotel? There's some shitters around here. People are a lot more simple out here. We're making my way downtown. Walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. You gotta shave your arms, bro. Shave my arms. <laughs> Drop me off to the body wax today. Send you in with a GoPro. That this post office sad. up here is where we used to take the packages. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dang, so oh, here it is. Here it is. Here we are. That's City Hall. Calm down. Cochran, Blair, and Pops. <laughs> we here. Mmm, you can smell it. All right, we're gonna do uh, the cornbread. Is that like that serves one per? Okay, we'll do four of those, please. I'll let Nick take the order. Do you want a sandwich? Yeah, just one big one. <laughs> just one. Preston talks up Miller's a lot, and I will say he talks it up a lot for a really good reason. Their food is absolutely amazing, but the service is, is just incredible. So we just ordered a bunch of food. We got a lot of stuff, and they brought this out for us to try. So this is a new a new item. I think it's brisket sausage, and it's wrapped in one of their their tortillas. So as we wait for everything else to come out, Get that in. smells so good. Oh, there's pepper. There's peppers in there too. You can smell the peppers. And cheese. Yeah, that's. Oh my god. That's one of the best things I've had. <laughs> I personally love cornbread. This looks like some really good cornbread. Not dry. <laughs> yeah. Right really good. Made with love. Hmm. Sometimes cornbread's really dry. This is not dry at all. Here it is, Preston. Oh man. Oh, oh, thank God. you. Appreciate it. That is the big end. Preston's been talking about that all day. That is a big sandwich. How do you eat that? Two hands. <laughs> I might need an extra ham. Ladies and gentlemen, the food has arrived. Preston got his sandwich here. Can't beat it. The big end. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Mac and cheese. Coleslaw, we have lean brisket, we have sausage, we have a rack of pork ribs, a pound of turkey, and half of a chicken. chicken. We want to make sure that everyone gets a little bit of everything, so we're going to dive in and thoroughly enjoy. Let me just kick off a little piece of sausage here. I love meat, baby. So, uh, as you can see, the, the sandwich is killed. In the arms of the angel. That was just the appetizer. Now I'm gonna start picking a little bit. Some chicken and some ribs. Not slowing down, this is fantastic. One of the best meals I've had in quite a long time, so 10 out of 10. When I ordered the food, I just threw on the half chicken at the end, because like, 
you know, we might as well try it. The half chicken is quite possibly the best thing on this menu that I've had yet. It falls apart. It's so good. Right there. Good, right? Wow. So much seasoning. All right, boys. Are you ready to see the first official BPN HQ? Wow. <laughs> Place New garage street. door? That's definitely not the garage door you put on there. <laughs> I ran through the garage door and had to get it replaced. <laughs> this is the house that I bought in 2015 and Preston ended up moving down to Pen from Pennsylvania to Texas and this is where we were packing orders out of. So this was the first official BPN HQ. Whoever bought it definitely made some modifications and changes. It looks a whole lot better now. It looks good. They put a lot of landscaping in, some, some brick around the trees and everything. Got it! Give me a double. Let it rip, Skip. Double coming in! Shit. Just single. Okay. Nah. Bolt! Bolt! Pull! Yeah. Pull! Pull! Yeah! Yeah! There you go. Boom! All right! The dream is to eventually own property. That has been my dream for years and years and years. I want to own property, a big piece of property where we can go out on the weekdays, on the weekends, bring big groups of people, have bonfires at night, do barbecues on the weekends, and for big celebrations and holidays and have uh, have stations set up where we can shoot clay birds, have a, have a rifle range, trails where we can run and take our ATVs and, and four wheelers and dirt bikes and just a, a good old place to hang out. Okay, so for this last round, it's gonna be me versus Preston. Who can acquire and kill the most targets, yet four targets, yet four rounds? The winner, gets to make the loser cook them dinner of their choosing. And there is no budget. So I could say I wanted lobster stuffed with caviar topped with Wagyu, A5 Wagyu beef, and he has to do it. But in this next vlog that we release, it will be you guys seeing that dinner being prepared, made, and consumed. Preston, you can go first. Pull. Miss. Oh. Miss. Pull. Oh. Hit. Pull. Oh. Hit. Two out of four. I'm actually glad that you hit two out of four because that makes it actually interesting. I'm nervous <laughs> now. Thank God I got the last two. What are you gonna make, uh, Nick? Crawfish boil. Gosh, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, you can order them. You no, he's got to do it. Make. You have to make. Nothing can be ordered. Pull. 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 All right, so far, there's been three. I've hit two. Come on, Nick. Pull. <laughs> yes, it hit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, I Hello. hope you're ready to cook, boy. Get chicken. your apron ready. <laughs> Next vlog is going to be Preston cooking me dinner. It's going to be epic. And we're gonna wrap up this video right here. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below if you wanna see more episodes of Bear Brothers. And we'll see you guys next episode where Preston is cooking me dinner. Am I cooking? You, I, I'm gonna think about this one. All right. But I'll tell you one thing. You're gonna be wearing an apron, and that's it. <laughs> Assless apron chaps. See you guys in the next video.